next case is 60 year old male with two distinct lesions at the transverse colon. The lesion's morphology is laterally spreading to more non-granular, flat elevated type, which are 35 and 50 millimeter in size. Dr. Fujishiro will demonstrate colonic ESD. Hi, hello. Good and morning. Good morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Fujishiro, and today's assistant is uh, the, uh, Professor Tsuji and Dr. Oki. And um, commentator is uh, uh, Professor Yamamoto and um, uh, Professor Saito. Okay, as you can see, uh, there is uh, one uh, LSD energy, uh, four centimeters in size, located on the hold. And uh, uh, another region is located here around uh, 1.5 centimeter uh, similar uh, morphology uh, LSD and flat type. As you can see, this is a very flat region and uh, there is no uh, apparent protrusion or depression, so uh, we could diagnose this region as uh, uh, intermucosal cancer, mainly uh, some possibility to have the some cause uh, slight invasion. Uh, Actually, the, uh, when we use uh, NBI, we could find the region margin clearly. And then this one is a therapeutic endoscope, so uh, it is uh, impossible to make a, a magnification. But from this magnification, you can see there are some irregular uh, small pits, but uh, actually this one is uh, no evidence of the uh, deep invasion. So this is a very good target for uh, ESD. And then the region is located uh, transverse colon. And then actually patient respiration may prevent uh, our ESD technique. So I'd like to make the inner side uh, incision by using a retroflex position. So the I have already uh, injected the solution in the uh, oral side of the region. Actually, they now uh, I have already made the injection. Okay, and then now then I try to make a retroflex position. Dr. Fujishiro is yes. using the Olympus new uh, PCF That's right. uh, 290T. It's a specialized scope for therapeutic endoscopy. So this one has a small angle, so small stiffness on the tip. So it would be possible to make a retroflex position. Uh, but now <laughs> a little difficult to make a retroflex position. So I try to do again. At the beginning, the situation was really nice, but uh, uh, during waiting for the <laughs> this live demo transmission, so the column uh, status a little bit uh, difficult situation. But now uh, oh, okay. we, we can get a uh, good view. So, so this answer, Toto, please put push a little. Because this scope has a short ben bending part, it's easier to make a retroflex even in the column. That's right. It's a valid. Yes. And um, now I'd like to make a uh, mucosal incision to the uh, uh, oral side by using splash M knife. Mm -hmm. mm. Splash mits Mitsuhiro knife. <laughs> splash Mitsuhiro knife. Uh, no, 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 marriage functional knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then open. And then um, I put a pedal of the endocut mode and uh, continuously cut like this. So this injected fluid is muco up. That's right, muco up. Muco up. It's injected. Yes. So it, it can stay a longer time than, than saline. That's right. So even after making mucosal incision, uh, the submucosal elevation remains. And then uh, carefully check the direction to go. I know the way to go, yes. Then continuously cut. Yes. Either you use retroflex or not, uh, it's 
uh, important to locate the region at the position of the, the accessory channel. That's right. And in, uh, then you can approach tangentially, so, so you can make a mucosal incision in a safe manner. That's right. So the reason why I use a uh, right of position is, you know, the uh, as I mentioned, uh, the uh, uh, respiratory movement prevents uh, nice cutting. And uh, ad in addition, you know, the we can get a good uh, tangential position to the uh, 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 oral side of the region. So this, this next dissection, uh, you don't need to cut uh, deep close to the muscle layer, just, uh, just below the, the mucosa is good enough. That's right. Water, please, Aito. Hi. Uh, I have already cut the uh, oral part of the region like this. And um, now, the situation is a little uh, difficult in case of the right of right position, so I change the scope position to the straight view. And then um, uh, I try to cut more from here to the uh, anal part. Uh, when we do the uh, straight uh, uh, position, the uh, respiratory movement sometimes prevent the uh, nice cutting so carefully. And uh, in case of this situation, it is very important to keep the length of the uh, knife, I mean at the, the distance between the knife tip and the scope tip should be the shorter and then put the knife a little, you know, the close to the edge. And then I'm trying to get but a little <laughs> difficult situation. So the, uh, actually the maybe, okay, wow. Okay, then that situation, I have to consider the another way and put Maybe, maybe if you consider the other way, uh, you might inject um, a bit more. Uh, yes, yes, yes. From here and yes. to go inside. Right. Yes, I, right. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. But this injection is not good uh, enough. Yes, I understand. So yes, yeah, that's right. Make the procedure safer. Right, uh, you know the pocket creation method you did. I mean that the more injection here and yes, to yes, that yes, that's right. Especially in this kind of situation, the target moves, so mm. uh, the knife could uh, unintentionally cut a bit deeper than you want. But uh, as long as you have a safety margin, okay, thick safety margin, it's safer. Yeah. Injection? How, how about the lower the dose of sedation? Because mm -hmm. now the because of the live demonstration, so the the sedation. Yes, very yes, sometimes uh, uh, the sedation is too deep and uh, a little bit of uh, obstruction, okay. airway obstruction, and the patient uh, breathes deeply, okay. so it moves a lot. So maybe lowering the sedation uh, could help, yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, then I will make a mucous incision here and to enter the tip of the endoscope in the mucosa layer. To yes to fix the tip of the endoscope. Oh, very, nice. very nice elevation. Yeah, that's right. As Dr. Pr uh, Fujishiro t said, the, the cutting depth can be uh, adjusted by the length of the knife from the tip of the hood. Hood can uh, uh, stabilize the target. So, the knife should be close to the tip of the hood. Then you can cut the mucosa safely. No, be careful. Uh, that there, there yes, is I know. Ah, yes, I know. A blood vessel. Yes. At when you find the blood vessel, mm -hmm. and now I change to the coagulation mode to cut. Yes. What setting of the coagulation? And now? this one is a uh, false coagulation. Mm -hmm. 
Effect 3 and 30 watts. Yes, that's right. Basically, uh, Dr. Fujishiro uses end cut mode for the submucosal dissection. That's right. Uh, that the end cut mode can cut the tissue uh, more, more uh, sharply without too much coagulation. And uh, Splash M knife has a, a, a little bit thicker tip at, at uh, the, the knife, on the knife. So if you use coagulation, then that could burn too much. So I think that's a, uh, that's a reasonable option. So, but uh, yeah, as long as no blood vessels, end cut cutting is very good. That's but right. uh, when you find blood vessels, it should be coagulated. Which, solu yes? Which solution are you using for this submucosal in injection? This one is a uh, hyaluronic acid solution, a combination with normal saline. Mukoap. Uh, Mukoap. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, I enter into some mucosal layer, so the uh, scope uh, become very stable. I injection? Yes, once you go into the submucosal space, you can get a very stable endoscopic uh, control. Even if patients breathe and respiratory movement can be stopped, or respiratory movement becomes si simultaneous movement uh, with the ta target tissue and the uh, endoscope. Then you can see the muscle layer. Muscle layer is on the right side. Yes, right. Then you can select a proper plane for the submucosal dissection. But right. Very good. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> Injection. Uh, one of the pocket yeah, creation. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, this this is, is actually po pocket creation uh, the method. method yes. yes. So the pocket creation method is very useful to overcome the uh, the respiratory movement as well. Uh. There is a vessel here, so coagulate. Okay. And cut. But uh, when you go into the submucosal space, you have to keep a good orientation. That's right. That, uh, that's the most important key, um, success <coughs> key, key factor for successful ESD. So when we do the, uh, you do the pocket creation method, what is the volume of the air uh, in the... Very, very minimum. Very minimum, You don't yes. need the air at all because right. we are working in the submucosal space and the space is kept by the hood. That's so right. So the air insufflation is not required. That makes the endoscopic control uh, better. So, Dr. Fujishiro, are you yes? going to do the pocket creation method? No? Uh, uh, now, I'm trying to do. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know, I, okay, thank you. Then I open a little here. A little here, so the to make the more pocket, I mean that the eye will open here. Injection, yeah. And then 
I tried to from open inside. here from inside. Yes. Yes, and I know. Uh, the submucosal tissue and move the knife parallel to the muscle layer. That's right. But at this situation, a little difficult. So, in additional injection should be made by the uh, original uh, injection needle. Mm -hmm. Not uh, a muko up is a very effective, maybe. Mm. Mm. In this situation, maybe rotate the region uh -huh. and cut to the uh, from bottom to the yes. right. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Down yeah, that that's right. Yeah, that's easier. That makes the procedure easier. Oh. Uh, another point for this patient is maybe the uh, antithrombotic management. Actually, this patient held the uh, DOAC uh, apixaban uh, for the uh, arterial fibrillation. Now, actually, the, the cardiologist said there it's better to change to Dabigatoran and um, then uh, stop the day before ESD and uh, uh, the day of ESD and start the next day of the ESD. And um, I agree with the decision and um, Actually, the dabigatran is a prodrug, and then um, uh, responsibility to make uh, uh, intestinal uh, bleeding uh, when it's touched to the uh, ESD mucosa defect. So the, this is one of the options to change to the dabigatran, especially in case of the uh, upper GI uh, ESD. Okay, uh, I'm now making the pocket creation method of the region, and um, you know the uh, inner part of the region is the uh, cut in half, and um, you know the there is a toenail already have the toenail to the uh, inner part. Uh, oral part of the region, as you can see. So, uh, no, the, this is going very well. Actually, very the uh, region is a little bigger, so the still uh, we have to cut here. So, at this stage, I'd like to open here to make another tunnel or the uh, actually the uh, maker a more uh, incision. Okay. Uh, <laughs> patient uh, respiratory movement sometimes uh, makes uh, ESD difficult, but the, at this stage uh, it may be it is necessary to uh, open. And um, I have to find out the best way to go. And um, don't be hurry. Just carefully check the direction uh, we can find and then uh, you can see the br br a black uh, line then when you see the black line uh, it is uh, uh, okay to cut when you couldn't see the black line uh, it's too deep so the uh, we have to stop uh, cutting black line on the knife on the mean? knife uh, yes that's right uh, yes uh, so that black line is um, put to make sure the depth of the knife is adequate. That's right, that's right. Oh, so see. now open here. So it is not necessary to visualize the tip of the knives. That's right, that's, mm, that's right. So the eye open here. And then maybe from the inside of the pocket. That's right. I try to insert the scope in the submucosal layer and find mm -hmm. out. Uh -huh. uh, so still we are going to perform pocket creation method. Uh, injection is be better. Food or food would be more yes, easier. Ah, yes, yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, this is a straight hood, so maybe a little bit more difficult to go into mm. the pocket. Uh, but uh, you can use the water jet assist to go in.
uh, in such cases, mm. uh, like uh, uh, Professor Yahagi was doing. Like this, yes. Yeah. And in this situation, you have to be careful because the muscle is in front of you, and but this is not uh, uh, tangential approach yet. That's right. So the working channel is located five o'clock position, so the, uh, it is very dangerous to do uh, ESD at this uh, vision, so the we should change the... Yes. Uh, yes, I understand. So for for the successful uh, so, so the success of the ESD using pocket creation method, you have to keep a good orientation in terms of the uh, the 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 uh, muscle wall. Uh, even you are in the submucosal space, you have Infection? you have uh, good orientation on your mind. Okay, then. Uh, I would like to make uh, uh, some closer cutting from here. Yes. Yeah, right, okay. And now you can see the muscle layer uh, at 12 o'clock side, and you can see the submucosal layer at uh, 6 to 7 o'clock. So right. you can, then you can adjust the, the, the uh, submucosal tissue thickness to remain on the on the muscle layer all the some muscle fiber ah uh, some muscle fiber and the cut yeah but you have to be careful muscle layer yes, is I right know. behind uh. okay so in that kind of situation, you have to adjust the length of the knife to be shallow. Uh, in this situation, it's al almost totally parallel. Yes. So then it's safer, much safer. Yes, hook the fiber from the inside of the pocket. Then you can cut to the lateral side. This is a very good situation. Mm. Oh, patient respiratory movement make this, w this kind of... Uh, a uh, scope with drawer, so we so we carefully so inside the pocket, then so hook the submucosal tissue. That's right. Hook the submucosal tissue, yes. and maybe okay, there to you can see the mass layer to the uh, travel position, so I can cut this way. Yes. Yes, I agree. Uh, Dr. Fujishiro, do you use IT Nano for some dissection? Mm -hmm. uh, you are too, then uh, it may be uh, faster when mm -hmm. we use uh, IT Nano Nano at this situation, mm -hmm. because then uh, uh, when we cut parallelly mm -hmm. to the parallel, but you can hook the, um, the fiber with, with your knife as well. Is that right? The, yeah. the tip, there, there is a, um, what, what do you call, ball or disc at the tip of the knife. So you can hook the fiber. That's right. So now I uh, uh, coagulate the vessel and now cut. Yes, good. Mm. Very good. Small bleeding no car, but to uh, close the knife. Uh, this knife, um, if you close this knife, then the uh, disc at the tip of the sheath uh, can can be an uh, electrode, and then right. uh, you can stop the bleeding. So there is a disc at the tip of the the sheath around the needle, and with closing position, the needle touch the disc and the uh, whole the uh, tip becomes the coagulation disc. Yes, that's right. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, you're too, you're too yeah, right, right. to explain in English, ah. but... Uh. Ah. It's uh, similar to a dual, dual knife. 
Uh, no, no, dual no, knife no. is just only the uh, the discard uh, tip of the knife. Mm -hmm. But uh, this uh, uh, splash knife has a disc bigger oh, uh, at the tip disc. of the sheet, mm. so around the knife. Ah, 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 ah. And still the small bit of the knife is already out, out of the disc? Right, a little right? bit out mm. of uh, the Yes, that's yes. right. But it doesn't uh, matter so much, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I believe. But uh, there is a possibility to make some uh, accidental uh, damage. But uh, right. I so uh, personally, I want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no need to uh, <laughs> wear it. Uh, <laughs> this one is, you know, the uh, maybe the p patent problem to make a, uh, you know, the right. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> people political political uh, political reason. <laughs> That's not uh, Dr. Fujishiro's wish <laughs> 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 to leave the needle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm um, going well. Yes, very, very well. Going very well. This is also vessel, so yeah, that's vessel. So, so be careful. Carefully coagulate before cutting. And check. So it's close to mass. So yes, injection would be better. So the injection more. Professor okay. Fujishiro. Yes. Uh, we are going to wrap up this session. Yes. Uh, can you briefly summarize the case and uh, your uh, tactic or strategy after this? Uh, yes. Uh, this is our uh, LST uh, energy flat region located in France Bascolan. Size of the region is 4 cm or more. Actually, the, the respiratory movement is heavy for this patient, so first cutting will be made from the uh, oral side of the region to make a retroflex position. It is very stable uh, to cut the um, uh, mucosa. And then I try to make a straight position to do the traditional uh, ESD for this region, but uh, actually still the respiratory movement prevents the, the uh, traditional ESD technique. So I made a pocket uh, from the inner side and making the pocket and uh, opening the some closer layer like this. And then maybe finally uh, we could remove the region in unblocked fashion. This is a summary of this case. Okay, thank you very much. We will take a break. Okay, thank and you. We'll